Welcome back to Music News Mondays. Let's get on it. So some huge news happened this week. Big, big, big news. Let me tell you about it. Four former Nameless Ghouls reveal identities. Ex-guitarist speaks out on Papa Emeritus, Emeritus, whatever you want to say, lawsuit. This is massive. Ghost, if you don't know who they are, was a band who prided themselves on anonymity. There was a mystery around them for many, many years. And even up until just a few days ago, whenever all of this broke loose, now it's a totally different game here. So four nameless ghouls have filed a lawsuit against Tobias Forge which a lot of people assumed and guessed that he was Papa. He always denied it. No denying it now. I mean, going from the members being anonymous mostly to everybody now knowing who everybody else is, with the exception of just a couple of new members, this is, it shocked me a lot, I'll say that. And four members are suing Tobias Forge for unpaid compensation totaling $22,000. Simon Soderberg, Soderberg, Soder, Simon, the guitarist, or a former now guitarist of Ghost released a Facebook post and the Facebook post isn't available to the public but someone screenshotted it so I'll read it to you and I'll read the whole thing it's quite long but I want to read the whole thing to you that way you get all the information so on Simon Soderberg's Facebook page he said as of yesterday we four signatories from the band Ghost have filed a lawsuit with the Lincoln District Court we are suing Tobias Forge Papa Emeritus Emeritus whatever the band's lead singer who has also been responsible for the finances of the band since its founding as of the filing of this lawsuit, we are requesting that the court, under penalty, oblige Tobias Forge to declare the incomes as well as expenses of the band concerning the years between 2011 and 2016. Remember that because that'll be important as to what I talk to you here in a little bit. Throughout all the years we have been on tour with Ghost between 2011 and 2016, some of us have performed something like 500 shows with the band. And throughout the band's album recordings, we have neither been allowed to share in the profits of the band nor have we seen any of the incomes accounted for. The only thing we have received have been minimal advance payments to allow the band to keep going. This, despite the fact that we had an agreement that any profits should be shared fairly between the members of the band. When we have attempted to raise the issue of the band's finances with Tobias Forge, his sole response has been that there are so far no profits to be shared. I believe he meant shared, but that everyone will be generously compensated once the band turns a profit. The reason that this lawsuit is now being filed is a contract dispute that has escalated during the previous year 2016. Over the last year, we have received multiple proposed contracts from Tobias Forge in which he seeks to redefine his role in the band. Since the conception of Ghost, our common understanding and agreement has been that we are a band on equal terms, but that Tobias will act as a band leader and manage the band's finances through his own companies. Through contracts received from Tobias and his lawyers during 2016, Tobias has attempted to make us sign an agreement that implies we are merely consultants working for his company, an agreement also stating that we would receive less that, I believe he meant than, a minimal wage for our contributions to the band. According to this proposal, furthermore, we would renounce any and all rights to the music royalties. All above, despite the fact that some of us have been members of the band since its foundation, investing all of our time in the band during the past five years, with as much right to the recordings and trademark of the band Ghost as that of Tobias Forge. Out vocalist, I believe him at our, and former friend, is now attempting to, in an underhand and shameless way, transform Ghost from a band into a solo project with hired musicians. Naturally, this is not something we can accept. When, in connection with the 2016 United States tour, approached a lawyer, he probably meant we, approached a lawyer in order to sort out the situation of the contracts, we were informed that, oh, no, he meant when, we were informed that Tobias Forge no longer wanted us to participate in upcoming tours. Thus, Tobias Forge is now going ahead with the tour which started March 24th, 2017 and is set to end in the UK on August 12th on his own, together with rented musicians who have replaced all other band members. Tobias Forge has chosen this path of action without any permission from us to carry out the tour on his own. This, under the name Ghost, 
which we regard as our commonly owned trademark, the actions of Tobias Forge amount to nothing less than unbashed dishonesty, greed, and darkness. Not the darkness of which ghost sings, but a darkness that pushes a person to betray his best friends when fame and fortune appear within reach. We are terribly sorry that this afflicts, I believe you meant affects, the fans of the band as well, and that they too should suffer because of this betrayal and greed. Greater than sign three, which is a heart. We who are suing Tobias Forge are Simon Soderberg, Alpha, member of Ghost since 2010, Mauro Rubino, Air, member of Ghost since 2011, Henrik Palm, Ether, I didn't even know there was an Ether, member of Ghost since 2015, Martin, oh, that's a last name there, Shigerstedt, Earth, it's easier. Member of Ghost since 2014, the Nameless Ghouls. Well, you're not nameless no more. I don't know why you put the named ghouls now. That's huge. Now, lawsuits happen in the music industry every day. It's a very common thing, and it's sad and it sucks. I mean, that it's that way, but it is. But I think one thing that needs to be taken from this, they're suing Tobias for the years 2011 to 2016, and the amount is totaling $22,000. Let that sink in for a moment. It's five years and they're suing for $22,000. They're suing for less than what a lot of people make in one year. This is what I want people to understand about the music industry. The members of Ghost were essentially broke or they made very little money. The record labels and the companies that were supporting Ghost were the ones paying for everything but didn't mean the members were rich. You have these guys, these musicians who are famous, massively famous. One of the biggest bands in 2016. They won a Grammy. They won many Grammys. I don't know how to say it. I don't speak Swedish. Sweden. Sweden. I don't, I don't speak the language that Swedish people speak. But that's the Swedish version of a Grammy. They won many awards. They played arenas. They sold out shows. They were all over the music news and every website. And they made less money than a lot of you people do. It's something I want people to understand. Just because you're in music doesn't mean you're rich. Just because you're famous doesn't mean you are rich. And in the post that Simon put up, he says, When we have attempted to raise the issue of the band's finances with Tobias Forge, his sole response has been that there are so far no profits to be shared but that everyone will be generously compensated once the band turns a profit. So the band hasn't even turned a profit. They've been together since 2007, I believe. Let me look it up just to make sure. 2008. Nine years they've been a band, and they haven't even turned a profit. They're on multiple major record labels. They've played with Dave Grohl, and they haven't turned a profit. They've won Grammys. They've won awards. They've been on television. Haven't turned a profit. This is why it's crucial to support musicians. And there are a lot of people who have supported Ghost, but then there's another reason why you shouldn't be hot to trot to sign with a record label. Because just because you're doing all these tours and you're playing these massive shows doesn't mean you're making money. But you are tied to serve a record label once you sign. You're going to be broke and miserable acting like you're not free because you're not and i wonder what happened with tobias it's interesting that all of the members are now revealed and it's obviously cat out of the bag that tobias is for sure papa which a lot of people knew that anyway. He always denied it, but, I mean, there's no denying it. But I wonder what happened with him. If he saw that there were guest appearances like Dave Grohl, who was a nameless ghoul during a show, and they never said which show it was, and nobody can guess which show it was, and I wonder if Tobias saw that anybody can be a nameless ghoul, because you're a nameless ghoul, and the music will still sound the same, but nobody can replace Papa, because once you replace the lead singer, everything changes. So maybe he got a little ego trip going there, but he's trying to make it a solo project from the sound of this with rented musicians and that's not a bad thing if if an artist if an artist wants to do that that's not a bad thing at all if i could afford it i mean i would do it there are many people who have done that but in an instance like this i think it's interesting it's just interesting it's a shame that they haven't been paid the people who were suing tobias it'll be intriguing to see how all this unfolds in the future but i do wonder what the brand of Ghost will be like now that there is no anonymity. And it's it's broadcast that there's no anonymity. There is no more people know, but it hasn't been proven. Now it has been proven. Now it's official. Now that anonymity is gone, I wonder what the future of Ghost will look like. I remember when Slipknot took off their masks, their popularity dipped quite significantly. And then they tried to do a tour without their masks and 
that went horribly for them. So then they put the mask back on. And they've since obviously risen to be one of the biggest metal bands in history. But I'll be watching this to see what happens with Ghost. To see what happens with the brand. To see what happens with Papa. And the whole lawsuit in general. And that was a pretty long one. So to sum up some of the major events that also happened during the week. Pearl Jam was inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. David Letterman inducted them. Also Metallica got given a cease and desist order. Which is claiming that they stole the riff that they play in Moth to a Flame from the band. Now catch this. It's the death metal band Incubus. Yeah, it confused me too at first, but apparently there is a death metal band called Incubus, which is not the Incubus that you may have thought of. Which I think, instead of sending Metallica a cease and desist order because you think they stole you, your riff, maybe go after the band that has the same name as you do. I don't know, that's just me though. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at Stenosis Music. Visit stenosismusic.net and join the Stenosis Society. It's a social media platform without the red tape. If you want to see more Music News Mondays and subscribe to the channel, you can learn more about the life of a musician. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this with your friends to show them the recent news that's happening with Ghost. We'll see you next time. Thank you.